Let's have a warm welcome for the president and CEO of the Ms. Foundation for Women, Teresa C. Younger. Five, four, three, two, one. Level up, 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 level up. I cannot tell you how excited I am. I even changed my shoes. Because it is time to party. Uh, you know, the reality is we are living in shitty times. I do not need to say that twice. We do not need to obsess, well, we do need to obsess about how outside of these walls we have fighting to do. But inside of these walls, it is time for love appreciation and celebration and that is what we are going to do tonight anybody who knows me knows that I do not love uh, having to organize these kinds of parties I don't and yet five years ago when I started at the Ms. Foundation for Women I thought to myself how will I live through these moments filled with 400, 500 people that I don't know. And yet tonight, as I celebrate my five-year anniversary with the Ms. Foundation for Women, I consider this party with a purpose, a family reunion. And I hope you are here with me. The foundation that exists, the Ms. Foundation for Women, past, present, and into the future will require every single one of us. And much like the foundation and the mothers who have supported it and continue to support it, there are people in this room tonight that I just really need to call out because those of you who are doing the work in this room know that every day is a challenge. And yet we need to have the people around us who love us. And if you recall, there are people that I call out every year. And they are here again this year. And they have traveled from Tennessee. And they have traveled from Connecticut and Minnesota and Massachusetts. They have traveled from around the country to be here tonight, to celebrate with all of us, and to lend their support to these efforts. So I have to call out my Aunt Cynthia, who otherwise is known as Auntie, Cynthia White. I have to call out my very dear and oldest best friend, Vicki Larson. I have to call out those who stood in these shoes. Okay, maybe not these really cute red ones I have on, but have led the Ms. Foundation for Women. So I'm gonna go back to voices you will hear, like Marie C. Wilson. A woman who never neglects to meet with me on a monthly basis, Sarah Gould. And a woman who doesn't get enough recognition for some of the work she did to lay the ground for me, Dorothy Q. Thomas. And you all know how important it is. The Ms. Foundation is the oldest public women's foundation in the country, in the world. 45 years old. But there are women's groups around the country who are doing the work of building women's collective power everywhere. And tonight they came here to celebrate with us. Many of you in New York know my colleague, Ana Oliveira. She is here with us tonight. But the other women you need to meet if you don't know them are Ruby Bright from Tennessee, Jennifer Lockwood Shabbat from Washington Area Women's Foundation, Heather Arnay from Western Pennsylvania, and Donna Hall from the Women's Donors Network. Now tonight, when you got your invitation, you may have noticed it was a little different. It had an image on it. That image is on your bag. It's in everything you will see this evening. It was because everything we do at the Ms. Foundation is done with intention. 
So if we are going to center women and girls of color, then we contract with women and girls of color. And the artwork on the cover and that we are displaying with you tonight was done by Ann Shen, who did Bad Girls. She created this art specifically for the Ms. Foundation. And we wanted to make sure that we started with a reflection of a young girl. And so down in the right-hand corner is a young girl. And tonight, I hope many of you notice that in this room, we have more young women than we may have seen in a long time. So if you are in this room and you are under the age of 25, give a shout out. And I have a few groups I have to call out, like the Ethel Walker School from Simsbury, Connecticut, or the students from Chatham University in Pittsburgh, or the girls and young women who have come to us from Western Pennsylvania Girls Gov. So if you can't hear yourself thinking, it's because these activists here, there, and over there are making things happen, and they are going to be connecting and building up. I have to tell you, this has been an amazingly busy five years. So while we've all been sleeping, come on, you heard who's in the room, you know we haven't been sleeping, there have been things going on. Just take note that what you have seen and will continue to see coming out of the Ms. Foundation didn't start with me coming to the Ms. Foundation. It is building on the legacy of those who came before me. So many of you in this room and so many who couldn't join us tonight. But you have heard and will continue to hear about our new strategic plan that centers women and girls of color and allows us to fund through the South. You will hear about a, a shifting safety portfolio and a unified approach that we call a SHE initiative, safety, health, and economic justice. We can't separate the movements that we are in. You will also be hearing about the fact that over the next three years, we will be moving over $3 million to girls of color, specifically within the United States and U.S. territories. You will learn how we continue to walk side by side with our grantee partners and let them lead the way and model what leadership looks like when you truly trust women. You will also learn how we have updated our technology to make grant submission easier, and we have created a technology and supported the technology that actually allows us to disseminate those dollars to grassroots organizations as quickly as we can. And since I'm talking about technology, we have made it easier for you to make a donation to us. It's a fundraiser, people. Let's not lose sight of that. You will have the opportunity to text to 52812 all throughout the evening. And when we uh, are back up here with my colleague in crime, Judy Gold, we'll be reminding you of that. Make sure your phone is charged. You're going to have a chance to help us move a thermometer up. As we take a look and reflect on everything, our biggest news is that we have actually filed our official papers for the Ms. Foundation Action Fund, our C4. This is built on the legacy of Marie C. Wilson and the White House Project. This is supported by the very strong and convincing board of the Ms. Foundation who said, if not now, when? We must take action to make sure we are supporting policy change in this country on every single level. And so I'd like to just call out members of the Ms. Foundation Board of Directors, if you could just raise your hands and everybody give them a round of applause and a thank you for their leadership. For those of you who work with boards, I am blessed to have an amazing board of directors. 
More importantly, I am blessed to work with some of the most amazing staff you could ever have, who even when we are understaffed, allowed us to walk into this gala tonight ahead of where we thought we had ever been. And you are gonna help us break the record. So join me in thanking all of the staff of the Ms. Foundation for Women. Now I know uh, people often uh, talk to me about the fact that um, the work that I do, I get to do. Um, you all make it sound like I'm doing something. I am not. The people that are doing something who I live up to and aspire to be like are our honorees tonight. And you are gonna hear about them and you are going to love and respect them the way I do. So when I talk about Angeline and Dion, who are amazing leaders in their communities, but across the country, when I think about the work I need to do, I think of the table of honorees and grantee partners that we have in the back of the room who didn't come on a comp ticket, but figured out how to be a part of the friends and family so they could be here to celebrate with their sisters in the fight. I have to live up to them. I have to live up to people who speak truth like Dream Hampton, who told us a story that needed to be told. I have to be willing to be cutting edge, like Sana Ahmad, who said a vision of what a superhero looks like needs to change. And I have to live up to the aspirations of the young people who are out there, who are making change happen. So it's young women like our Free to Be You and We honorees, Charlotte, Layla, and Jessica, three young activists who know how to make it happen. You will hear more about them too. And I hope you don't know all of those names because you shouldn't. Because when change happens, it happens with the person sitting next to us, but we don't always know who they are. And that is the work of the Ms. Foundation. It is about recognizing who is doing the work in our communities that we don't always know who they are. And they need the dollars that we are able to generate tonight to make that happen. So tonight, work the room, meet somebody new, meet five somebody news. And the evening will speak for itself. But our vision at the Ms. Foundation to create a safe and just world where power and possibility is not limited. Those words on our wall in the office inspire me to same today as they did five years ago when I walked in for the first time. But I no longer want to create a safe and just world where power and possibility are not limited. What I want to do and what I invite all of you to do is to help us all dream of the possibility of what the world can be, step out and help us make that happen, and join us as we celebrate tonight the amazing women who continue to do this work. And I have to say, on behalf of myself, my staff, and the board of the Ms. Foundation, there is no greater evening than this evening. There is no more fun than we get to have. We are going to dance after this, but we are gonna celebrate through the program, and I ask you to join us, meet somebody, share with us, and let this be the beginning of the next 45 years of the Ms. Foundation, where we should take note, the older we get, the bolder we get, the more we are willing to speak our truths. The time has come for us to step into our power, all of us to step into our power where we can dream of possibility and of a world we never could even imagine. Thank you so much. Enjoy the evening.